We definitely got creative. I think that it'll be fun for viewers to see the things that we came up with. You can eat your f***ing hell. Stop f***ing coming after me, Amanda. What is happening? Oh, no. 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 Kind of cool to see you guys actually like working this time around. Was that weird to like balance work and party and having fun and being serious? No, I'm actually excited for viewers to see how much we actually hustle during the week. And you you saw that a little bit here and there in the last four seasons, but I think, you know, the advantage of being in the house Monday through Friday is that viewers will be able to see really how much we do work in order to afford our partying lifestyle on the weekends. How was Hubhouse affected by COVID-19? Unfortunately, when COVID hit, I, you know, I had to pause. I got put on pause for PR. So essentially, you know, my clients furloughed me um, for the first like three months of COVID. And then they started slowly coming back and you'll see, you know, the clients I was working on this summer, but I'm, I'm very lucky that my clients are so loyal and, um, you know, they decided to bring me back on for PR and it's, it's hard times. And I, and I really feel for everyone out there who just like struggles in business because I mean, these are not easy times for anyone. What project or campaign or PR that you worked on that you're most proud of this year? I opened a rooftop in New York City uh, in downtown in the height of COVID. So I opened it right when uh, dining opened back up for outdoor dining in July. And I launched this, you know, rooftop that I gotta be honest, I have never experienced getting more press for a client during a launch. And especially for that to happen during COVID, I was just so thrilled and so happy for my client to be able to you know, drive traffic and sales for her through traditional PR. What would you say was the most memorable part of the summer? When you're in a house or when you're in an apartment during a pandemic, you have to get creative with things to do around the house. And um, we definitely got creative. I think that it'll be fun for viewers to see the things that we came up with, the games, the, the themed, uh, the themed, parties that we threw for ourselves, I think is, is I'm excited to see those. Was one of the themes you wanted? Oh, we kind of saw something in the trailer. Well, I, obviously you're going to have to tune in to watch how that went down. But um, yeah, I mean, like it's, I feel bad for Kyle and Amanda because they've had to postpone their wedding so much. So um, you'll see how that all goes down uh, this season.